My name is Pizzonia's Sanit, the owner of Magic Burmese FCI Kennel. I have been breeding Burmese Mountain Dogs for 15 years. The breed originated from Switzerland and was called for Derbacher, here for a small town Dernbach, where the large dogs were especially Franklin. In 1907, some, very few breeders founded the first breed club and wrote the first standard which defined the dogs as a separate breed. They became quite popular and by 1910, there were already one or seven registered members of the breed. These dogs have become popular in a very short time. The Bernese Mountain Dogs were used as all-purpose farm dogs for guarding property and to drive daily cattle long distances from the farm to the alpine pastures. The farmers used the burners to transport their carts of milk and cheese. Otherwise, this breed is ideal for those who are primarily looking for a family dog as they cope up with the children very very well. They are a very patient breed and should not show even the smallest sign of aggression, this is a must in connection with Bernese Mountain Dogs. They are a good choice even for active families, as they like to walk, take height and do other activities. Elder people can be happy with them as well as they are a very calm breed who adapt to all circumstances very easily. To tell you sincerely they are really easy to live together with. The Bernese Mountain Dog can be used for multiple purposes. They are a big-sized breed, varying from 80 to 120 pounds. Bitches are smaller and males are a little bit bigger. Although they are not guardian dogs, they have a rotund sound which deter potential intruders. This is enough for most people as they otherwise are not aggressive or meant to harm anybody. If the owner is friendly with other people and visitors, they are friendly and open with them as well. If they feel any aggression from the part of the visitor, they can turn to be a protector to a given degree. The Bernese's need activity and exercise, but do not have a great deal of endurance. They are not for hunting or tough guard work. They are for less activities. If they are sound, they can enjoy hiking and generally stick close to their people, they don't like to be left alone. They usually want to be close to the beloved family that they are the best. They are a very spectacular breed with a distinctive tricolored coat. They have black basic color with white chest and rust colored markings above the eyes, sides of the mouth, front of the legs and the small amount around the white chest. The idea of perfectly marked individual gives the impression of a white shoe shape around the nose that is a white Swiss cross on the chest when viewed from the front. The AKC breed standard lists the blue eyes as a reason for disqualification, eye color and any basic color, others, then black. Usually the Bernese will only require brushing once a week, with some more in spring and autumn. A Bernese will only require a bath about once every couple of months or so, depending on how high its activity level is. Bernese mountain dogs shed all year round and the heaviest shedding is during seasonal changes. They can stand well harsh weather conditions almost from a very early age. They can get used to cold weather very easily, even when they are 8 to 11 weeks old. They can tolerate very cold weathers as well, as they are okay with even minus 5 degrees of Fahrenheit. What they don't do not tolerate well is the extensive heat and very warm summer days. It is one of the most basic rules in connection with them that cutting their fur is strictly forbidden. Because of their black fur, they should be saved from extensive direct sunshine as they are inclined to heat stroke. In connection with feeding. You have to concentrate much on it in the first 12 months of their lifespan. The better is, if you if you give them quality food, but never too much as overfeeding can lead to abnormal growth and joint problems. It is a common belief that they are inclined for dysplasia, although this illness is rare among this breed. One of their typical illness is the degenerative myelopathy which can be genetically screened. A new type of illness is the cancer of the muscle tissue that is can be aggressive. This illness can be screened genetically, so you should ask for the results from a breeder if you decide to buy a puppy. In our days, cancer is the leading cause of the death of Bernese Mountain Dogs. The Bernese is unfortunately one of the short-lived dog breeds. The average life expectancy of a Bernese Mountain Dog is approximately 6 to 10 years. 
It is usually said that every day above the age of eight years is a present for the owner and the dog. They can be socialized extremely well to other animal members of the family, like cats, small animals, tortoises, even to rabbits. They are very friendly, open-minded breed who are curious about almost everything around them. Before you buy a puppy, ask for the help of the breeding association of your country. They can give you useful info and advice about breeders and how to avoid health problems. Thank you for your attention.